Hi everyone, welcome back to the Janae Wall Show. In this video, I'm going to be talking about allowing God to heal your heart. Um, and so I've been just thinking about this and, and really just praying and interceding mainly for other people in regards to this. And sometimes in life, most of the time in life, somebody's probably going to come along and break your heart. Like, Lord knows I've had my fair share in that. Um, and so I have some scriptures. We're going to get to the scriptures in just a moment, but I really just want to um, talk about this. Okay, so I'm going to read Psalms 147.3. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. And that one is also similar to Psalm 34, 18. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. And I remember meditating on these when I was going through a broken heart. Um, and these are just really good scriptures just to meditate on, but also to be reminded of who God is. And in that situation, like God bottles our tears, like he's so much cares about the things that hurt us, the things that bring us sorrow, the things that bring us pain. So just know that God cares. Um, and then also Romans 8, 28, and we know that all things work together for those that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. So even that, that situation, even that relationship that didn't work out, God is still going to use that for your good. The good, the bad, and the ugly, God is going to find a way to use that for your good. Isaiah 43, 18, forget the former things, do not dwell on the past. Um, oftentimes, when I saw this, I was like, I got to include this, because oftentimes when something happens to us, um, or even someone else that we deeply care about, we can just dwell, like we can just sit there and just sit there in that that sorrow sit there in that depression sit there in that pain whatever it may be we just sit there and god just does not want us to dwell on the things of the past he does not want us to be sitting there in the midst of whatever it is okay and recently um, my good friend she was going through a broken heart and you know i was just praying for her and just you know sending her different things just to kind of keep her confidence up and just so she would know that she is loved, that she is worthy, that we don't get our, our, our worthiness from, from someone else. We get our worthiness, we get our love, we get our validation from God. That's number one. Um, because we are who he says we are, not who someone else says that we are, not how someone else treats us, but we are who God says we are. Furthermore, what you desire oftentimes will require healing and wholeness. So if you desire to have a godly marriage one day, it's going to require you beforehand, most likely beforehand, you don't want to wait to the middle because we've seen what that, that's like when people have undealt with issues and they're married. Um, so allow God to heal your heart even before you enter, whether, whether it's dating, courting, marriage. Allow God to heal your heart. God wants to make you whole. So oftentimes what you desire, if you want to be a godly wife, if you want to be a godly husband, oftentimes it's going to require you to heal those things that maybe you forgot about or heal those things that are really on your heart, heavy on your heart, heavy on your mind and your spirit. And that way... God is able to do that good work through you. He's able to heal you. He's able to make you new again. So that way, when you enter that next phase, that next stage, you are healed. You are whole. And also, it's okay to take time to allow God to heal your heart. It's okay. We don't have to jump from relationship to relationship to relationship. Because oftentimes, when you're doing that, you're not allowing yourself to face Whatever it is, you're not allowing yourself to, to just come face to face with the pain, come face to face with the reality of whatever it was, and just allow God to just come in, acknowledge God, 
ask him to come in and, and, and help you heal that situation. So when you go forward, you're not bringing that pain with you. Okay, because then it can be kind of like we're carrying baggage. We're carrying emotional baggage. And we, we've probably seen what, what happens when we carry emotional baggage and you don't have, um, you haven't resolved undealt with issues. That just tends to fester and fester and go on and on and on and deal and, um, and turn into other things. So it's okay to allow God to take time to heal your heart. However, do not remain stuck. Keyword, do not, key phrase, do not remain stuck. Sometimes the enemy wants us to stay stuck and allow us to lose our momentum and where God is taking us. Okay, so our momentum is what keeps us sustained. Our momentum helps us to keep moving forward. And when you lose that and you become stuck in a, you lose that and you become stuck in a, in a place where you're no longer moving. You're no longer opening up your Bible. You're no longer working on the business that you have. You're no longer hanging out with your family or friends because you just want to be isolated. You want to be alone. And that's another thing, another trick that the enemy uses to get you all alone, to get you isolated so you're not around a, mul a multitude of wise counsel. So you're not around people to encourage you, to lift you up. So you're not around people that can pray for you and intercede for you and cover you. So if you're watching this, and this could be for guys or dolls, if you are watching this and you have experienced and or are experiencing right now a broken heart, someone has, someone has, someone might have, someone might have um, hurt you currently or in the past, free yourself. And you might say, how do I free myself from that, Janae? Free yourself. Free yourself with um forgiveness forgive that other person and because for, let me turn this thing off because forgiveness forgiveness is not for the other person forgiveness is for you forgiveness is for you because god says that you must forgive others to enter the kingdom of heaven you must forgive this that is very very important to god you must be able to forgive and that's a hard thing and god will walk you through that thing okay um and i've seen it i've seen testimonies i've where people have been through broken heart broken hearts and and just so many things that they probably didn't have any hope left and that's what the enemy wants to do he wants to take your hope because faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen so the enemy knows if i can take your hope that you won't ever get married, that you won't ever find the one, or you won't ever find that person that God is calling you to. If he can distract you long enough, hear me, people of God, if he can distract you long enough and make you lose your hope, make you lose your momentum, make you lose sight, lose vision of what God has for you, because we know... Um, because we know where there is no vision, people perish. So if the enemy can take all those things, he feels like he can be successful in stealing, killing, and destroying exactly what God has for you. Okay, so I just want to I just want to come on and encourage all of you um, that are watching and know that God loves you. Know that God loves you. And I know sometimes when you're going through that, and you might feel like, why am I not good enough? Or why am I not, why does no one ever pick me? You don't feel chosen. You don't feel loved. You don't feel accepted. Or you feel like you have a relationship. It's good for a while. And then something happens. And you're thinking, God, like, why can't I sustain this? And some relationships, oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Some relationships, God is saying we're not meant to be sustained. Because he didn't call you to that relationship. Ooh. Mm. Some relationships were not meant to be sustained because God has not called you to that relationship. That relationship has not been ordained by God. Therefore, does not always have the grace to get through things in life that you will go through. And I believe that when you meet the one that God has for you, there will be a grace that that person will have for you. I did a video on this like a month or two ago, that, that there will be a grace. Some of the things that might be hard for you to talk about, some of the things that you might have gone through, 
that person that you there will be a special grace where that person will be able to walk with you and walk alongside of you and not just be like oh well you have this issue so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna toss you away you know there'll be a, there'll be a special grace that that person will be able to help you along your journey okay so allow god to heal your broken heart god is always moving he's always working okay so allow god to heal your broken heart we're going to end in prayer because i just really feel like this is needed um for whoever is going to come across this video i hope that they are very blessed by this Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Father God, that we are who you say we are. I thank you, Father God, that we're the head and not the tail. We're above and not beneath. Father God, I thank you that you have chosen us. You have adopted us. You call us yours. Father God, I just thank you that no weapon form will prosper in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, that as we're going through life, you are going through it with us. You are there walking alongside us. Father God, we lay our burdens, we lay our cares, our anxieties at your feet, Father God. And we, we Lord God, we praise you because you are God. You are the way maker, the miracle working God. Father God, I just thank you for just being who you are in this moment. Thank you, God, for being Abba, Father. Thank you, God, for being the Prince of Peace the everlasting God. Thank you, Father God, for just coming in and meeting us where we need you the most. Father God, this is an invitation. And Father God, we ask that if there's anyone in our lives that are um, connected to us, that are not supposed to be connected to us, Father God, we ask that you expose and reveal that. And we ask that you um, just come in and just have your way, Father God, and so that we can get on the right track that we need to be on. Father God, we release right now in the name of Jesus, we release any, any bitterness, any resentment, any unforgiveness that we might hold in our heart towards anybody who has hurt us. Father God, we know that we must forgive others as you have forgiven us. So Father God, I thank you and I praise you that we are free because who the sun sets free is free indeed. Father God, I just thank you for your perfect love that comes to drive out each and every fear. I pray for each and every person that's watching this video under the sound of my voice. May they know your everlasting love, God. It never runs out. It never runs dry. Father God, may they know who you say they are, that they are a masterpiece. May they know that just the love that you have for them, Father God. And I just thank you and I praise you. Father God, I just thank you for just being who you are. Come in right now like a mighty rushing wave, Father God. Father God, I ask for you to heal our hearts of anything. Cleanse our hearts. Put in, uh, put in the right spirit in us. Renew our hearts and put in the right spirit in us, Father God, so that we can go out and do the good work, the assignments that you are calling us to do. And that we even right now, we silence the lies from the enemy that is coming to plant seeds to steal, kill, and destroy. We tear that down right now. Hallelujah. We bind those thoughts right now and we loosen your love, God. We loosen who you are because who you are will set us free. In the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you, Father God, for your promises that are yes and amen. And I thank you, Father God, that what you started in us, you are faithful to complete. In the name of Jesus, I declare and I decree, and it shall be so. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. Thank you all so much for watching the Janae Wealth Show, and hopefully I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys and dolls.